In Carroll County alone, one in 15 households has been affected in some way by crime. What if that first moment in prison is also the first moment that person has taken to reflect on life? What if it's the first time the prisoner has had away from the stress of family torment? Away from flawed friends the prisoner just couldn't shake. And away from the refuge of drug abuse. Now, what if a regimented life spent behind bars, made that prisoner finally take a look inward, take stock of the future, and take the opportunity to make a change for the better. Taking the opportunity for change is a big step, one that often relies on help from others. Who does that person find for support at that time? Not the warden, he has a jail to run. They've got order to keep. Not the cellmate. He's trying to survive, just like everyone else. Can he rely on those he left on the outside? His family? They have to go on with life and the daily requirements of taking care of themselves. His friends? Many of those have already abandoned him. Getting attention and help sounds bleak, doesn't it? It's not, thanks to the Good News Jail and Prison Ministries. The core team is called the CST, Chaplain Support Team. They're a group of volunteers. They do all the church services. They do most of the Bible studies, men's and women's Bible studies. They do the seminars that go on. They do counseling in here. Um, so um, we really have quite, a, quite an army of people in our community that makes this ministry uh, successful and have the impact that it does. Sometimes the folks from the ministries are the first friendly, supportive face a prisoner has seen since incarceration. I wouldn't be able to, to do my time without what you guys offer in here. You bring Bibles for us, you come every week and you ask if we're okay. If it wasn't for, for your program and your ministry, you know, it, I, I wouldn't be as close to God as I am. It was wonderful to have someone to reach out, you know, in my, my hopeless state and say, God is not interested in so much the pun your punishment right now as your restoration. So I think the men that have taken um, advantage of this ministry are very grateful. The ministries could not succeed without the support of the community and the volunteers that serve the Lord through working with the staff and the prisoners. It's a great privilege to have be a part of this team. Uh, what, what really uh, sinks home and has deep meaning to us the news that we're getting through to them is when they will eventually stop staring at us and say, we'll listen to you, we know you're real because that's what the guys want, something real in their life and people that are real to them. It does take a community to minister to those whose lives and living have led them to prison, and there is much to do. If they've been here, you know, they could be here for uh, a day or two, they could be here for 36 months, and that's when we really get the opportunity to build relationships, to teach them, to disciple them, to share the gospel with them, um, to make sure that, um, uh, you know, they uh, really get an opportunity to know that um, they can change. When uh, the time comes for them to be released, uh, we will um, partner them with, uh, with a mentor outside of the, uh, out in our community and, um, and work with them to make that re-entry uh, process a lot smoother teaming up with Good News Jails and Prison Ministry to be a team. Anything that we can do to turn someone's life around, to have them to be a productive citizen, does two things. One is it means one less crime, perhaps, or maybe more in the community. And so we are about trying to protect the community. And the other thing is, is trying to turn their lives around. 
uh, to make it a, a productive life. I'm here because I love these men and women here, and I believe that um, uh, the change that we make in them is is beyond what what you know any kind of monetary thing can do. Tomorrow is always a new page, blank, ready to tell the story of each of our lives as we move forward. The Jail and Prison Ministries is helping inmates write the story of a prisoner reformed.